All right, so we talk about the properties of uh, of a uh, of a uh, of a circle and a circle theorem. So when we say properties, there are quite a number of properties. So I will talk about the most important ones. So the first one will be angles coming from the same segment. So if you have uh, a circle like this, and there is a segment here. Remember, in my introduction, we talked about the segment, and uh, we talked about the chord. This chord is forming this segment, and um, an angle which is being formed coming from this segment will be equal to whatever angle which will be formed coming from the same segment. So, this angle will be equal to this angle. Again, this, or, uh, uh, this other angle will be equal to these two. Because they are all coming from the same segment. Even if you say something like this, it will also be equal to the other angles. So this is property number one. Another one will be angles from the diameter. There's a diameter here, okay? And we talked about the diameter, the line passing through the center of, this, uh, uh, of the circle. So whichever angle formed touching the circumference up here will be 90 degrees another angle coming from the diameter touches the circumference where it touches the circumference it will be 90 degrees another one just like that they are all 90 degrees even this side if you say this for as long as it touches this diameter at one point of the circumference and the other one this angle will be 90 degrees. We go to the third property. The third property says the angle coming from the same segment, okay, to the center. Segment, center. This is the center, okay? And then the angle is coming from this segment. Whichever angle be formed up here, okay, this angle will say the angle which is at the center is twice this angle. If this is 20 degrees, this will be 40 degrees because they are coming from the same segment. And this angle also will be 20 degrees because it's coming from the segment, same segment. This other one will also be 20 degrees because of the same. The only angle which is twice is the one which is at the center here. So it's twice these other angles. So if you've seen, uh, if you can check nicely our property, property one, we said angles coming from the same segment are equal. So if you can see this, this, they're coming from the same segment, they are all equal. And these angles, they form the angle at the center. You multiply by two, they are twice to this angle at the center. We go to the next So this other property, if you have a circle like this, and uh, you have some shape like this, this angle and this angle, the opposite angles, add up to 180. This and this add up to 180, okay? So if this is 80 degrees, what is this? The opposite angle must be, must be 100 degrees. If this is 70, degrees what is the opposite it must be 110 degrees such that when you add them up they must give you 360 degrees we go to the next property the next property says uh, a tangent line okay this tangent line It's, uh, it forms 90 degrees where it touches eh, the radius, okay? The radius of the circle, where it touches the tangent, the angle which is there between the radius and the tangent line is eh, 90 degrees. It's also important. Another property is when you have a circle like this and you have a tangent line, okay? And there is a chord 
which touches the tangent line, that chord, whichever angle will be formed, okay? You see, this is a chord which touches it, the tangent line. So the angle between the chord and the tangent line is equal to the angle which will be formed up here by this chord, okay? This, if it's, this is x, this also will be x. So these are some of the properties we can use to answer some exam questions. So in my next video, I will show you on how you can uh, answer the exam question using these same properties.